Hello, I'm Sarah Long, director of the North Suburban Library System, and this is my vodcast. We're in beautiful downtown Skokie at the Skokie Public Library, and I'm in the children's room, and I'm talking to Jan Watkins, who's the, the head of this whole domain, and Holly Jen, who is also a children's librarian here, I mean, among other duties. Anyway, it's my pleasure to be talking to you today. Particularly, I want to know about Come On In. What is this? Well, Come On In is a project that we started in 2004 as an effort to make the library a more welcoming place for children with disabilities. Oh, I, that's great. So by disabilities, what do you mean? Um, what we mean by that is all, um, all types of uh, special needs that children might have, uh, ranging from autism to behavior disorders to lots of different things. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the important thing of recognizing that children um, have special needs and there are ways that you can reach out to them. Ah. So um, this has been going on since when? We, we, we received a 2004 LSTA grant. Oh, okay. And, and that's federal money mm -hmm. from the State Library here, here in Illinois. Yes, that we are very thankful for. Yeah. And we partnered with the Niles Township District for Special Education, and they've mm -hmm. continued to be our partners through that's this time. Right. These children and these families weren't coming in already? There were probably some, but we didn't really take note. And I think what um, made us aware that we were missing a certain special population was that there were a couple classes of students with behavioral disabilities that were visiting us. And we really were at a loss on how to communicate with them, mm -hmm. um, what did they want, if we don't have it, how do we say no without ruining their day. Mm -hmm. um, and thought, well, if these couple classes are coming from one, one school, there must be many more classes. And now that we're thinking mm -hmm. about it, how come we don't see these kids sure. in our programs? Mm -hmm. yeah. So we knew that we were missing a big piece. Mm -hmm. And I mean, in some levels in our society, any sort of uh, disability comes with a stigma. Yes. And so um, I suppose part of the issue is um, reaching out and helping people feel comfortable. Exactly. Um, one of the kind of sidelines of this particular grant, in addition to procuring materials and planning programs for children with special needs and their families, we also increased community awareness mm -hmm. of the fact that these families were in the community and that they um, could participate just like everybody else. Um, and it was a matter of, of including them mm -hmm. um, in what the library has to offer. Now, taking off on the offering idea, did you buy different materials for this target population? We did, um, and we have some materials with us here today, but we purchased a lot of toys so that when children came to play at the library, they would have more variety, things that are more age appropriate and um, suited to their ability level. So there are switch activated toys. And what does that mean, switch activated? A switch activated toy is uh, it's always easier to show, but if you could just picture a, a giant button sure. that acts as a switch to turn on a toy. And so in one case, we have a little crocodile or a fire truck that will move and make sounds, whereas somebody with limited mobility might be able to not be sure. able to move a regular fire truck in our play area. This fire truck will move at the push of a button. Ah, I get it, I get it. So the <laughs> toys was one component, and those are push, put into activity bins, and we have now over uh, a dozen classes that visit the library on a weekly or monthly basis and the children age range is from preschool all the way through high school and mm. actually some of the teens have been visiting with Maine Niles Special Re Re Recreation Association. Mm -hmm. Always a mouthful. Yeah. Uh, and so they love to use their activity bins. So it really gives the kids something to do. Um, when special education classes visit here, they're using it as part of their occupational therapy to learn how to get out in the community, sure. to make a request of a person, um, to check out a book is simple. But we also want them to enjoy the library, as mm -hmm. libraries are fun places. Sure. So these toys help them to, to enjoy it, their visits. So it sounds like that while the grant period might be over, that this, this grant's got legs. <laughs> I would say that um, it hasn't stopped since we started with the first announcement that we got the grant. We have been um, on the same road mm -hmm. with uh, really still stretching and trying to meet more, uh, connect with more families with children with special needs and really um, maintaining our cooperation and partnership with the special education district through the school visits. So um, it's, a, it's a growing thing. Sure. <laughs> and it sounds like you would count it as a success. 
Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, beyond our wildest dreams, and though it might not have played out exactly as we had envisioned it, we've learned um, so much about our community um, and what it offers to families with special needs. We've, we've begun to see the children as individuals instead of groups. Um, the barriers that we had because of uh, unfamiliarity or lack of knowledge have been broken down. Mm -hmm. And we've really been become known as a library that's friendly to children with special needs. And that has that spread could be finer. Yes, throughout the community. I hope you'll share this knowledge with other libraries in the area because it sounds like you have learned a lot. We've done quite a few things to share the knowledge. Um, we've spoken at a number of different workshops on the state level. Uh, we've also um, had a um, wonderful morning with CBS Channel 2 that came oh, here last winter and filmed uh, a group of children who were actually using the library um, and did a program around that. So that was really, really cool because mm -hmm. we felt that got a bigger audience. Sure. Um, and we've also written a number of different articles in professional journals. Um, Holly and I um, have done that. And and um, we've also spoken um, to local groups as well. Wonderful. So. so you only see this expanding and growing? Yes, I, I can't imagine it ever stopping. Thanks for watching. For more vodcast, go to my website. That's www.saralong.org. And you can write to me at sarah at saralong.org.